how do you pick the right golf grip for your game? Today we're at the Golf Pride HQ to find out. So when it comes to picking grips, it can be quite overwhelming for the consumer because there's so many different options and there's obviously size on top of that. How would you go around helping someone to pick what they want? Yeah, good question. The, the first place that we would start with anyone that, that visits us here would be to make sure they're playing the right size grip. Um, we've actually found that a lot of consumers are playing grips that are too small for them. So getting them in the right size grip is a starting place. We've got a couple different ways to measure that, um, but the main way that we do that is um, a middle finger measurement from the crease of your hand to the tip of your middle finger. And we know that based on what that measurement is, whether you're gonna fit into an undersize, standard, midsize, or jumbo grip. Mm -hmm. And for someone who maybe couldn't necessarily come in here and use that, is there other things they could reference, maybe like what size glove they're using or something like that? Yeah, on golfpride.com, we actually do have a version of this measurement device um, and we do reference glove size as well. So there's two different tools on, on our website that can help with that. Cool, so then when we move into models, what would be a good way to like, Stop. Yeah, I mean, I would ask a couple questions based on the conditions that the golfer typically plays in, or do they have any preferences to texture, firm or soft feel, um, and kind of go from there. But we've got such an array of textures, um, it can be um, a little bit challenging, but the Tour Velvet would be kind of right in the middle in terms of texture and feel. And then at the other extreme would be like a Z chord, very firm um, with more um, chord in it. And then on the other end would be like a CPX or a CP2, which is a lot softer. Um, and then there's a couple of different options in between that. So in the UK in particular, we get a lot of bad weather and wet winters. Is there one grip that might specifically work in those kind of conditions? Absolutely. Anything with a corded material um, is going to give more traction, more control, and ultimately more confidence that you're going to play better golf in those wet weather um, conditions um, for sure. So which one would you pick for that? I'm partial to just regular MCC plus four. That's what I like a lot. The Z grip is going to give you the best performance in that, but um, you can't go wrong with either of those two. So when we're talking about swapping grips in and out, what kind of time frame would you be recommending? We typically recommend for an avid golfer that they replace their grips at least once a year. That obviously can change depending on if a player practices a lot more um, or not, but at least once a year would be recommended. Yeah, because I think sometimes if you're doing say loads of short game practice or something like that, you might want to replace your wedges a bit more and things like that. So always things to think through on that front. Exactly. So out of this range, one, which is the one that you sell the most of and two, what's your favorite? I've always been a Tour Velvet player. Um, personally, that's what I play on my clubs. MCC plus four seems to be a big seller for us. Um, standard classic MCC over the years has been another big hit. Um, and then with the new CPX out, that's gaining a lot of traction and popularity as well. Yeah, I really like the new textures on that. Last thing, in terms of the Align options, mm -hmm. why might someone want to switch for that, someone who's not tried something like that? The Align's just a nice extra kind of reminder, if you will. It just gives that extra level of confidence that you're gripping the club the correct way and that the face is square to, to your hands and you're gonna hit better, more straight shots. Um, but again, that's just kind of a, a one-off feature that may not be for everyone.